Today I'm going to show you how to make Maruchin Yaki Soba Teriyaki Chicken Flavor Raymond Noodles. Okay, right here you see it's a chicken with the teriyaki right here. So this is the pack that it comes in right here. It says it takes four minutes. Just add water and microwave. And I'm going to show you the, I know how to make cook these, but I'm going to show you in the back just so you know how to do it. It says right here, so you open the packet, pour in the seasoning, uh, pour in the water, microwave, and then add seasoning number two. All right, just like it says right here, remove the two packets, marked one and two, Open the packet, one containing the dried garnishments and empty into the side space between the noodles and the container. Shake gently to settle. Pour water over noodles until it reaches the fill line indicated by the arrows. Close lid and cook for on high for four minutes. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, add cooking, after cooking, leave microwave for one minute, alright? So actually, you add part, you add both one and two. Wait a minute, it's not saying when to add two. Oh yeah, hold on, five. Grab the corners of the tray and carefully remove the microwave product, because it's going to be very hot, protect your, your hands. Is protection for your hands is recommended. Remove the lid and carefully pour the contents of packet two. Mix the powdered sauce until it is evenly dissolved throughout the noodles and enjoy. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And then I'm going to peel this back. And remove packet one and two. Okay, so this is two, this is one. I'm gonna take this, and they say pour it on the side, and then shake it so it evens out, and then pour water to the fill line. So I have my water right here, and the fill line is right there. So I'm gonna pour this in. Got to the fill line. And then I'm going to close it and microwave it for four minutes. All right. After I let this cool for about a minute after microwaving for four minutes, it's time to get started with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. It's kind of hot. I'm going to open it up like this. And then I'm going to take the flavoration packet part two. Right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this into it. Sprinkle it around. And then I'm going to stir this like this. Stir it in, make sure it gets nice and mixed. All right, smelling so good right now. Absolute goodness. Alright, so that's how you make yakisoba chicken teriyaki ramen noodles. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Absolute goodness if you Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make linguine with marinara wild mushroom sauce. It's one of my favorite recipes. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the uh, noodles right here. I have linguine made by a company called Di Secchio, Di Secco. All right. And on the back, it shows you instructions on how to cook these noodles right here. It says in a six quart pot, put a little salt. I'm not going to add salt. And then cook for 10 to 12 minutes or until al dente. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I have some boiling water. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this to the boiling water. Alright, so I'm going to add some of the pasta to the boiling water. I have a 6 quarts of water right here. So I'm just going to add 
going to add the pasta to the water right here, like that. I'm not going to add all of it because I want to save some for a little bit later. I don't want to cook it all right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this like this. And I'm going to cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. Alright, the noodles aren't quite yet al dente, but I'm going to go ahead and strain these because I want to cook this the noodles, finish cooking the noodles in the marinara sauce with the wild mushrooms. So I'm going to take this, turn this off, grab something so I can pick it up and strain it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and strain the noodles, the linguine, and then I'm going to get started on the marinara mushroom, wild mushroom sauce. Alright, so after the noodles have been strained, I'm going to get started on the sauce. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the same pot, and I'm going to start to heat it a little bit. And then I'm going to add some olive oil to the pot. Add a little bit of olive oil to the pot like that. And then I'm going to add the wild mushroom wild mushroom sauce in here into the pot all right made by a company called dave's gourmet if you have problems open the top get someone to assist you and i'm just going to go ahead and pour the wild mushroom sauce pasta sauce into the pan Just like that. And then I'm going to take the pasta and I'm just going to add the pasta right on top of it. And the reason why I do it like this is because the pasta is not quite done yet and I want some of the sauce to cook inside of the pasta. Alright, so I'm going to take this, mix it some look. If the sauce is too thick, you might want to add a little bit of water. Just like that. And just go ahead and mix it all around. Get the mushroom, the wild mushroom sauce mixed in with the pasta. Absolute goodness. Alright, and that's how you make linguine with wild mushroom marinara sauce. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, today I'm going to be making Nog Shim Bowl Noodle Soup by Nog Shim. All right, so this is the spicy kimchi flavor that I'm going to be making right here. It's BPA-free container right here. You can either microwave it, which I normally would do, but instead of microwaving today, I'm actually just going to add boiling, boiling hot water. So I have my boiling hot water almost boiling. All right, and we can look at the instructions, the cooking instructions on the back. I'm going to go over the microwave instructions first, and then I'm going to go over the adding the boiling hot water, or just the hot water. Excuse me, don't add boiling water, add hot water. All right, so right here it says, okay, so for microwave, microwave right here, you open up inside, open it up, pull it back, and it says you pour in the water and the seasoning base. It says remove lid, add soup base, pour room temperature water up to the inside line, microwave for three minutes, stir and serve. I normally would do that, but I'm not gonna do that today. Instead, I'm gonna use the hot water method, okay? I am going to open the lid halfway, add soup base, pour hot water up to the inside line, <coughs> excuse me, uh, close lid for three minutes and still stir. So that's what I'm gonna do. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and open this. <coughs> Pull it back. <coughs> add the seasoning. And then add the hot water, not boiling water. I made a mistake by saying boiling water earlier. I meant to say hot water. I'm going to pour it on the seasoning right here. Up until the line, not sure where the line is. It's right there. Absolute goodness. 
and then I'm gonna cover it for three minutes. Put my food spoon over it to keep it covered. Absolute goodness. All right, after three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off and I'm gonna completely pull off the lid. Let me zoom in so you can see some of the flavoration that's going on in here. A look at it, so I did it. And so this type of ramen noodles is, doing it this way is actually, it looks like the ramen noodles are a little bit more al dental than it would be if I put it in the microwave. Uh, by letting it sit like this, I think the seasoning goes all the way through like that. Absolute goodness, if you ask me. Absolute goodness. All right, today I am making Mama's Pho, all right? Pho is a Vietnamese dish that I'm be making today, this wonderful package right here. But before I make Mama's Pho, I have to let Mama know that I'm making Pho. Mama! Yes? I'm making Pho. What Pho? No, I'm making Pho. What Pho? Never mind. I'm going to be making this right now. All right, so this is Pho. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Look inside. Here are the noodles in here, the Pho noodles. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually put the noodles in there. But first, I'm going to add the seasoning to it. Seasoning packages first because this is going to be at the bottom. And I'm going to want to dissolve. And I'm going to add boiling water to this. All right, so I'm going to add boiling water to this. So I'll get the water boiling. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all of the packets in here. Here's the last, this right here I think is the oil. All right, oils for flavoration purposes. So just go ahead and put the oil in there. Get the oil all the way in there. And then I, I put, go ahead and put the faux noodles in there. And then add the rest of the crunchies if there's some in there. I'm gonna zoom in close. I'm gonna take my boiling water and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in here. Pour in the boiling water. And when I pour in the water, after I pour in the water, I'm going to let it, I like to mix it up just slightly, just get some of that seasoning dissolved at the bottom. I'm going to put a lid on it for three minutes. All right, so put the lid on it after you put the boiling water on it for three minutes. All right, after about three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. Look at, look at the faux. The noodles smell great. Great seasoning. Absolute goodness, if you ask me. Absolute goodness.